Awesome. Let's see if I can see if we can get back on it and pick it up where it's at. getting in my prop so I gotta stay off a little bit off of it and it's leading me up to that kayaker too awesome maybe I'd kill two birds with one stone right there side of me over here see this again. All right, sorry about that guys, but I was in a bit of a struggle there. I'm gonna keep it over here on my left side. doing too is I'm pulling it with the other hand. That way it can stay in front of me. But not drift that far away. I'm gonna catch this line so I can catch up with that guy. Oh. 
this is definitely not easy with the gimbal. I'm trying to hold it in one hand and kayak and pull line and all of that with the other. Wish I had a little holder here. Gimbal's wearing me out, guys. I don't know how much longer I can hold it and pull line and hold. I wish I had a drone right now that we can see all the struggle I'm going through just to do this. Definitely gonna be near the beach. Cause this line is being a pain in the butt. Feels like I'm getting close, but I just...
gimbal died. All right, guys, I got my bait. My gimbal died on me, and I think I'm running out of storage space. So I'll talk to y'all as soon as I get back on the beach, see what happens here. All right. Maybe I can catch up with that guy. Should be able to. Where is he at? Oh yeah, I think I see him. Should be able to make it to him. See what I can do, what I do. Talk about a hard day in paradise, guys. That was not easy. Not, not easy. Yeah, I see him. I should be able to catch up to him right in the surf zone. Let's go, let's go. I'm thinking it might be time to stop by Wind and Wave, talk to Frank about some upgrades. This one, this kayak's pretty pretty old. I think it's safe. See what kind of stuff we can change up and or improve. I definitely want to get into, you know, there's some ideas that I have for the kayak that will help me be better at kayaking here. So let's see what ends up happening. That, that vest is definitely not making it easy right there. It's catching water. I can feel it. Nah, but yeah. Wow. That was big. Whoa, that was big. Let me see. I'm going to... That was some big old splashes ahead of me about a couple hundred yards in. So, I'm going to go ahead and face it that direction. Maybe y'all can get some action while I'm out here as well. I don't see the kayaker anymore. Some birds. See some fish feeding. y'all enjoyed the ride there you can see Bob Hall Pier off in the distance yep that was way out there yep there's the fish uh those dolphins what is that those dolphins yeah dolphins in front of me guys way in front of me that's probably what I saw earlier okay where's that kayak let's see if we can catch up with that I see him. Yeah, I see him. He's off to the left over there. About right up in that area right there. Should, yeah, like I said, I'll catch up to him in the surf zone. He's about 400 yards off the beach. So you got to think Bob Hall Pierce, 1,200 feet long, which is 400 yards. Yep. And I'm about... 1500 yards out right now at minimum. Okay, no, maybe I'm about 10 to 12. Probably 10 to 12 now. But yeah, I'm definitely going to catch catch up to him before he gets to the beach for sure. But that vest wasn't. I should have taken it off, but what I did was I used it as kind of like an anchor so that way I can paddle up the line and, uh, get to my my leader on the bottom quicker but i didn't think of what it was going to do to me now that i'm pulling against it and rocking out Ooh, a big old turtle it's a big turtle let's see if he comes up again yep he's still up there he's right on the surface about 100 yards in front of me Go 
say hi to uh, let's say the turtle's name where he says Crush there you go let's go say hi to Crush so probably say Mr. Turtle is his dad's name <laughs> Oh, she saw me and jetted off because I don't see him anymore. He was lackadaisy right there on the surface there for a minute. Yeah, I think he's gone now. Crush is out of here. He definitely saw me and gunned out. The tire color is in front of me now. I'm definitely gonna hit the beach, rig my stuff down so that way I can work on it at the shop. But I've got three baits in the water, hopefully, they're still there. Let's see how this tournament goes. Talk about some early morning workout. I wonder what time he took off this morning to get way out there and be coming back about this time. Oh, There he is. He's probably about 400 yards in front of me now. Y'all can definitely see the difference when I wasn't towing any weight on this kayak compared to when I am. You can see the, the speed that I'm going. And it's not that I'm trying to go slow. It's just uh, you try to pump out as fast as you can, you're going to burn out quick. So it's more for the endurance. You don't have to go really fast to go fast. Slow and steady wins the race, guys. The only time I don't do slow and steady is when I'm pumping through the guts to get out of there because that's the danger zone. I definitely don't like being in there. So let's see, come on, can I catch up to him before he hits the beach?
thinking he might be trolling too, so if that's the case, I'm gonna give him a white berth. Looks like he's trying to go into the to the wind. He may need some help. Let's see what's up. Taking a break, one, two. Oh, he's got a fishing rod in hand that she hooked up. Give him a hand if he needs one. Doubt it, but doesn't hurt to offer. Got a fish on? Looks like he has a paddle there for a second. Or maybe he's putting up his fishing gear. He was trolling. I wonder if maybe he caught my lines. Yeah, I gotta start paying attention too to the water in front of me because remember I was out four to five hundred yards and I still could see my line near the surface. Definitely don't want to get it caught up in my prop. I got three, there was four of them out there. But I lost one on the way out, it broke off. Hold on, hold on, I can barely hear you with the humming of the, the kayak over here. Oh, I just got 
I just caught one of my lines. 